Hey folks, Joyce here, certified health and nutrition coach. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm not sure if you can tell in the audio, but there's a torrential downpour happening outside. Uh, this is two Fridays in a row. So I am augmenting my lighting situation and I'm also in my office instead of my kitchen studio. All right. So this month is National Diabetes Awareness Month. So for each week, I'm going to be breaking down diabetes for y'all. So please hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you don't miss out on these videos. But in any case, we're gonna get started off with what is diabetes? Let's get into our body and the microscopic level. The pancreas kind of looks like the state of Tennessee and it is currently like corn. It sits on top of the small intestine here where the liquefied food is getting broken down into smaller pieces so that it can enter the bloodstream. So our molecule of interest is glucose and the pancreas is responsible for making and releasing insulin into the bloodstream so that it can actually open this lock, which is the insulin receptor, so that the door to the cell opens up so that the glucose can go into the cell and be processed for energy and glucose is the main currency for our brain, so we need that in the cell and not in the blood. Okay, so this is a normal insulin response right here. Then on the right, you have type 1 diabetes, where the pancreas is actually being treated like a foreign object, so the body is attacking the pancreas, therefore it cannot make insulin. All right, so the glucose kind of stays in the blood and there's no keys to open the door. Since this is such a dire situation, this type of diabetes is diagnosed much sooner. The symptoms of this is very immediate, so it doesn't take a long time to discover this. Let's move on to type two diabetes. And so this is the pancreas and it is not being attacked, it's actually normal. But over time, a long period of time, based on the consumption or overconsumption of added sugars, refined grains, or highly processed foods, the pancreas is overworked or taxed because with so much extra sugar in your blood, the pancreas is releasing just an extra amount of insulin to keep up. Over time, like I said, it just kind of breaks down and it doesn't produce as much insulin. So you don't have enough keys to bring the insulin into the cell. And also due to inactivity or lack of physical activity, your cells are not sensitive enough to respond to this insulin. So the doors are not being opened. Therefore, the glucose is just staying in the blood, elevating your blood sugar. So that's type two diabetes. And what you don't see here is gestational diabetes, which is very similar to what's happening over here in type two. And this happens to women who are pregnant. Sadly, there are 37 million people in America who have diabetes. So that equates to about one in 10 people. And one in five people don't know they have it. That said, I encourage y'all to establish care if you haven't already with a primary care physician, your main doctor, so that you can get your annual physical exam to test your glucose for the fasting and the glucose um, sensitivity test. Or if you have diabetes uh, in your genes, in your family, uh, please ask for the A1C test because sometimes these tests aren't readily given to you. It's not an automatic, so you have to advocate for yourself and ask for these exams. So those are the things I would love for you to take away from what is diabetes video. I hope y'all learned a lot from this video. And if you have any further questions, please put them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share or hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If y'all have, thank y'all so, so much. So stay tuned next week. We're going to continue on with uh, diabetes topics that I'll be breaking down. So see y'all then. And remember, y'all deserve to be happy and healthy.